Um, my Zoom had a problem, so I had to install a new one. Sorry, Naka, sorry, sorry. I am very, very, very sorry, okay? Okay. Huh? How did you unmute yourself? Who is that? Mm -hmm. eh? Oh, Grace, your cat is so cute. What is your cat's name, Grace? My name is Tiger. Tiger, you have a cat and the name is Tiger. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of a... Uh, thank you for... Mm, it's thank you for... Ah, Asia, what is that? <laughs> this year, this year, um, thank you for... Mm. Your cat is beautiful. Hey, Asia, what is that? Your cat has makeup. Cat Asia, yes, I make up. Huh? Oh, your cat has blue, sky blue eyes and pink makeup. Damn. Okay, everyone, let's begin our classes for the day. I am sorry I'm late. Um, who is in grade? Poha Tapnu. Poha Tapnu. Who is in uh, Katang? How many students are there in grade one and five slash one? Me, Kikoni, Poha Tapnu. Unmute your mic, Katang. I would like to know. Okay. Uh, สามสิบคนอันนี้สองคนยี่สิบสองคนยี่สิบสองคนยี่สิบสองคนยี่สิบสองคนนะแต่วันที่สองคนนะแต่วันที่สองคนนะแต่วันที่สองคนนะแต่
I would like us to watch a video, short story. Uh, let's, uh, which one do you want? Call me Mr. Box. Where is it? Call me Mr. Box. Okay, it's only 10 minutes. Watch it. Last more, cow cow. Lot along, pang tuk brand. Lot rang sang tuk. Hi. I'm Victoria from Slovakia, and this is the story of how my dumb family could never stand that I was smarter than all of them, and they did everything they could to ruin my life. But before I continue, click like and subscribe. It all started when I was a baby. I have a twin brother, Mark, and even though I came into the world five minutes after he did, I was always miles ahead of him. By the time he'd learned to roll over, I was crawling everywhere. He was just making spit bubbles when I spoke my first words. But for some reason, mom and dad were so proud of everything he did, and I just seemed to get on their nerves. Once, when we were playing with our toys, Mark picked up a mini train excitedly. Look, Dada, it's a choo-choo. It's not a choo-choo, Mark. It's a train. Oh, be quiet. He's so cute when he talks like that. I don't know why you speak like an annoying teenager already. On our fourth birthday, I only got stupid dolls, while my brother got a super cool toy airplane. He just ripped the box open and started pushing the buttons like a maniac. I picked up the manual and read the instructions. I felt fascinated by how it worked. Here, Mark, let me give it a try. No, you leave it to the boys. Even my dad couldn't get it to work. This is garbage. And with that, he tossed it aside. I quietly picked up the airplane. And a few seconds later, everyone looked up in shock as it zoomed over their heads. Mark started to cry, and Dad snatched the remote control from me and told me to teach my bratty brother. But after I did, he would never let me have a turn. I would just sneak into his room at night and take it whenever I wanted. Once when we were in the fourth grade, my brother and I were playing Scrabble and my parents joined in. What I thought would be a fun family game night turned out to be a nightmare. I get 54 points for Sphinx. That's not even a word. You're just making stuff up. No, I'm not. It's an imaginary creature. So it's not real. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. Cheater. Just because you don't know something doesn't mean it's not true. Suddenly, Dad lost his temper and knocked the board off of the table. You think you're smarter than all of us, huh? I never said that, but maybe I read more books than you guys. So that's the problem. Well, here's an easy solution. No more books for you. To my horror, he marched straight up to my room, took away all my books, and put them in his safe. If they thought that was going to stop me from reading, they were so wrong. I'd sneak books into my school bag from the library and read them at night when everyone was asleep. When I was in the 10th grade, I was going upstairs one day when a book fell out of my bag. Before I could pick it up, Mark was already flipping through the pages. This isn't one of our course books. Mom! Dad! Look what Victoria has. And seconds later, I had my parents breathing down my neck. Why are you reading this book? What does it have to do with you? I just really like reading about machines and how they work. I even fixed the kitchen clock that hasn't been working since forever. That was you? Why didn't you tell me, idiot? I've been terrified thinking it's some ghost messing with the time. I didn't send you to school to be some mechanic. And this kind of stuff is for boys. And with that, he ripped the book in half. Dad, that's a library book. Well, oops. And you better come and watch TV with us. You have to start acting like you're part of this family. They forced me to watch dumb shows with them all evening, when all I wanted to do was go work on my secret project. You see, about a month ago, I'd entered the science fair, and I'd been secretly working on an amazing robot arm. On the day of the fair, I woke up extra early, snuck out of the house with my project, and put it in my locker. When the science teacher called me to set up my table at the fair, I couldn't help grinning at Mark's surprised face. As the judges and other students gathered around my table, I announced, This solar-powered robot arm can play catch with you, chop up vegetables, and even write with a pen. Exhibit A. Everyone gasped as the arm started chopping up carrots at warp speed. And then suddenly, something went very 
very wrong. The arm started making some strange sputtering noises, and the next thing I knew, it flung the knife towards the crowd, missing one of the judges by an inch. As the horrified crowd started to scatter, I burst into tears. I couldn't understand how this had happened, until I spotted Mark's ugly face smiling in the crowd. Of course he tampered with it. I didn't win anything, and to make things worse, I was called into the principal's office. I gulped when I walked in to see the judge who almost got hurt, but he actually smiled at me. Victoria, we obviously couldn't give you a prize because your robot failed, but I was still very impressed, and your teachers speak very highly of you. Would you like to join the program for gifted kids at my college? College? I couldn't believe it. Why don't you come spend a day on campus? Bring your parents along. I agreed to the college tour immediately, and I was foolish enough to think that, for once, my parents might be proud of me. As I went downstairs that evening to talk to them, I was met with roars of laughter. You should have seen it, guys. It was so funny when the arm went haywire. She almost hit someone. I wish you could have caught it on camera. Gosh, what was she thinking? Maybe she wants to build a robot arm one day because she's too ugly to get a real boyfriend. I turned angrily and went back to my room. I wasn't telling them anything about the college. The next day, I gave the principal the permission slip I'd signed myself and left for the college tour. I had an amazing time touring the campus. Later in the cafeteria, I bumped into someone, and when I turned to apologize, I saw the cutest boy smiling down at me. Hey, let me help you with that. I'm Luke, by the way. Luke was really sweet, and we struck up a conversation immediately over lunch. I didn't even- Ah, you speak so fast. Um, I will unmute everyone and you tell the teacher which one should I play, okay? Which one? Elsa, please unmute your mic and tell the teacher. Um, I want you to have an idea of how your test will look like next week because we are doing more of um, speaking, put, and listening. Teacher BB and Teacher Bang is um, Anne and Iki, and Teacher Bang, Anne and Iki, and Teacher BB, Fang, and he put. Do you understand? Yes. 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 Who don't come to my class, I will give zero. So, okay, which one should I play? Which one? Because your um, test will be on a video. Which one should I play? Put Naka. Say something. Which story? Hi, my name is Anna. Before I was born, there were two things my parents loved more than anything in the world. Their restaurant and their yacht, both named Bella. And that didn't change after I was born either. But soon after, their restaurant wasn't doing so well. When dad knew mom was pregnant with me, he said, It's so expensive to raise a baby. We'll have to sell something. This child is already bad luck. Ultimately, they sold their precious boat, and they never stopped crying about it. Oh, if only we didn't have Anna and had Bella with us right now, we'd be having breakfast at sea. And I'd be sunbathing on the deck. Having a child just ruins everything. They never celebrated my birthday, but when I was turning five, they decided to have a party and called all their friends. When I ran to the table excitedly to look for the cake, I felt confused. Why does this say, happy birthday, mom? Because I gave birth to you on this day. What did you have to do? Nothing. It was a really boring party because there were no presents for me and nobody was paying me any attention. Instead, they all wanted to talk about their fancy new yachts. 
My parents were so embarrassed because they didn't have anything to talk about. Later that evening, Dad said to me, I wish we'd put you up for sale instead of my boat. That same year, my little sister was born. And on the same day, Dad unexpectedly found an oyster washed up on the beach with a rare gray pearl inside. He sold it for $50,000, and the money really helped them make things better at the restaurant. What a blessing this baby girl has been for us. She's brought us such good fortune. And because of that, my parents decided to name her Bella, like everything else they truly loved. We love you so much, Bella. We tried with Anna, but it's easier to love you because you're just so perfect. They made me do all the chores around the house while they drooled over the new baby. I even had to change her diapers because both my parents refused to. After a few weeks, they got really busy at the restaurant, and I was left in charge of Bella most of the time. I'd feed her, bathe her, rock her to sleep. I started teaching her my name, Anna, I'd point to myself. Bella would just look at me, and then she'd laugh and clap her little baby hands. But things changed forever when Bella turned one. My parents came home from work one night, and mom started yelling at me for not having dinner ready. You own a restaurant. Can't you just eat there? We sell that food, you moron. What should I expect from someone as stupid as you? I guess we'll just go eat out somewhere. Come on, Bella. But Bella didn't want to move. She slapped my mom's hand away and started to cry. With her little toddler fingers, she pointed at me. Anna! My parents looked shocked. Bella had just said her first word, and it was my name. Anna! 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 What have you been teaching her? Mom was so mad that Bella's first words weren't, I love you, Mom and Dad, and I hate Anna. Dad picked her up, but Bella kept kicking and screaming for me. Fine, we'll bring your stupid sister. I walked out with them, and Bella stopped crying. She smiled at me, and I smiled back. After that, Bella always had my back, and I always had hers. When I was in the third grade, my parents took Bella to a boat show. They left me behind to clean the house. Of course. When they got home, Bella ran to me and gave me a present. I was so touched. I love you, Anna. It was a little red toy boat. I hugged her tight. When Bella turned four, she had a phase where she wouldn't eat anything, except hot dogs and ketchup. Her favorite part was when I squirted ketchup all over the hot dogs. Ready, Bella? Ketchup party! The funny fart noise the bottle made always made her laugh like crazy. When summer break was over and I went back to school, my parents had to hire a baby for Bella. One day when I got back, I could hear screams from one of the rooms. Just then, Bella came running out, holding a ketchup bottle and squirting it everywhere. Ketchup party! Behind her, the babysitter came out drenched in ketchup from head to toe. That's it! I quit! Just as she was storming off, my parents walked in looking horrified at the mess. What on earth is Bella doing? Did you teach her this? No, I did not teach her to spray ketchup all over the house. Mom caught Bella and snatched the bottle from her, glaring at me. I don't know how, but this is all your fault. Clean this up right now and stop poisoning our little Bella's mind. Just as she was dragging Bella to the bathroom, she slipped on some ketchup and fell on the floor. Angry as I was that I had to clean up everything, that made me feel a little bit better. When I was old enough, my parents made me work at their restaurant. I thought it would actually be fun waiting on tables and meeting new people. But what was I thinking? They just handed me an apron and rubber gloves. You'll be washing the dishes. When I asked them to pay me, Dad glared at me. We already pay you by giving you a bed at night and a roof over your head. Don't be so greedy. To make matters worse, they'd make me pay for any food I ate there. But I became friends with the head chef, and I'd eat the food he gave me secretly in the back alley. One time, he came out to hand me a bowl of mac and cheese. And just then, we heard someone coming and he dove behind the garbage can. It was Dad. Where did you get that, Anna? I took it out from the garbage. Do you want some? He looked absolutely disgusted and was about to walk off when he spotted the chef. I knew it was you. Thief, you're fired. Of course, a few years later, when Bella started working at the restaurant, Mom and Dad got her the cutest uniform and let her greet the guests as they walked in. The restaurant is named after her. She should be the face of it. No. You named her after the restaurant and your stupid boat. Oh, my boat. Every time I look at you, I miss that boat. 
Now get back to work. Of course, Bella could order anything off the menu, but she still always had my back and she'd sneak me half her meal. One night when I was eating lasagna at the back of the kitchen, dad suddenly walked in and he accused me of stealing. As he snatched my plate away, Bella came running in. I gave it to her dad. She works hard and she deserves it. No, she doesn't, Bella. You. not your ungrateful sister. That was the final straw. I was done being insulted by them. The okay. Okay. Uh, we'll stop there for now. It's too long. Uh, what is the, the girl's name? The two, how, how many girls are there? How many girls? Please, how many girls are there? Hello, how many girls are in the video? Ah, you were not paying attention. How about test next week? Huh? Hello, Hello, ทักอะไรอ่ะทักอะไรล่ะล่ะไม่รู้มันเป็นอะไรอ่ะไม่คุ้นทําไมทักไลน์เหรอเออ we will have our test next week okay you will have to write your name in English and give to your homeroom teacher. And the homeroom teacher will send to me. Okay, you write your name in English. And okay, everyone, please. Uh, hey, share, share this. Please get your notebook and you write out the vocabulary. English style vocabulary. Please let's write before we continue with our Katang, write in your notebook. Why are you looking at the teacher, Katang? Can I share multiple?
if you are done, you write these words, okay? I will continue writing from here. Write the words in English and in Thai. Get your dictionary, please. You will have to read in English and in Thai. Oh. Ah, airplane, it's airplane, not airport, sorry. Yes.
it's sunny, it's sunny, it's sunny. It's rainy, rainy.
Everyone has finished. Hey. Please use your dictionary. Where is Peng? Peng? Where? Ah. Are you writing, Peng? Can I see your notebook? Use your dictionary to translate to Thai. Who raised the hand? Yes, I can. What is it? I don't know. You are in poor ha. Huh? You are not supposed to be complaining.
Why did you write that, Ikan? Kiani Tamai, why did you write? Unmute your mic. Unmute your mic. Please unmute your mic. One, two, three, unmute your mic. One, two. Please, you use your dictionary to write, okay? I will unmute everyone. Have you finished? Yes. 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 King Mo. King Mo finish. Hello, finish. Finish, teacher. Oh wow! I like that Asia. Asia finish already. Please, you read at home during your free time, okay? You read at home during your free time.
to write the name sign, keep frame. Leanka frame. Finish. If you are not yet done, you can take a photo. Tairup Naka, Tairup. Namsai. Seleanka, Namsai. Please, you can use your phone to take a photo. No, finish tissue. Not yet. Okay. Where do you work? Where do you work?
Okay. Please use a phone to take a photo. Use a phone. I need to prepare for the next class. Use a telephone to take. I wrote, I wrote phone. Jem, how about you finish? Use a telephone to take a photo. I wrote, Naka. And you can do later as your homework. Jem. I will finish. Okay. Thank you, everyone. You can use. Please remember to read the the words during your free time. Nam now. Are you done? Nam now. Seleyang. No ka. No ka. Please unmute your mic. Have you taken a photo, Nam now? Tairup naka. Have you taken a photo? Okay, everyone has taken a photo. Thank you. And remember, we have Asia. Asia, what is it? Asia, Tairup there. Ah, Namsa, is it Namsa? He sent me a photo, I can see. Okay. Jem. Teacher, you don't don't song, right, Maya? Ah, teacher, do the outfit line, line, line. Okay. Jem, kin arai. What are you eating, Jem? Chicken. Okay, goodbye, everyone, and have a nice day.